I want to ask you a question. <clears throat> How do you tell somebody something they might view as negative or nasty? How can you tell somebody the truth? without hurting their feelings. I'm asking us this question because I am always being accused of being negative. Um, I'm always accused of being a self-hater I don't know who this self I'm supposed to hate, but I, I hate myself. I'm a self-hater and I'm negative. But what I'm being negative about, the hate that I am accused of, it is true. There's an old saying, truth hurts. No matter how much I want to be in denial, I do not have hair on my, my head. I started losing my hair a few years ago. I would like for my hair to... Uh, the little afro I used to wear or whatever. I would like to have that with no gray. I don't want no gray. I want my hair back and I don't want all this gray stuff that I'm getting. I don't, I don't want that. Now, I could I could paint my hair. <laughs> I could color my hair. And I could probably wear one of those men uh, toupees, wigs, or whatever. I could probably do that. The reality and the truth is I am turning gray and all, I've lost all my hair in the front. I can grow hair all the way around like George Jefferson or somebody. I could, if I let my hair grow, it'll be like George Jefferson. I won't hardly have any hair on the top. So I'd rather just cut it off. I don't, I don't want that. I'm not wearing a wig. Uh, I'm not coloring my hair. I'm not doing all those different things. I just accept the reality of what has happened to me. I'm an older person now. And because of, uh, it probably was inherited, but I've lost my hair on the top. I mean, that's just the reality of it. And there are those who, you bald head this, old man. There are those who will tell the truth but they are telling the truth in a manner to make mark of you, to hurt you. Then there are those who tell us the truth because they are not laughing at you. They are laughing with you because you're tripping on, wow, I'm lo I lost my hair, I'm turning gray. Oh, you know, it, it, make a joke out of it. It's funny. It's funny, but it's the truth. And it still hurts, but it's not coming from a nasty place. So you can tolerate that truth. And then there are those who just refuse, who are in denial. I'm going to color my hair. I'm going to go get some cream and get my hair back and, and whatever. There are those who just can't accept the reality of things. And this is why 
Angel Snub Nub 7 is not that popular because I'm dealing with a group of people who just refuse to accept the reality of things. So I'm a male. I'm a black man. I'm a soul brother in this society. And we have coming up over the weekend what we call or what they call the Super Bowl. We're going to have or they're going to have Snoop Doggity Dog and Dr. Dre halftime show. Now, of course, what I'm going to say is negative. That's all well and good. But as a black man in this country, as a soul brother in this country, as men in this country, I'm watching TV and the black man is acting like a child. My gender is acting like a child. You put on your football, they give you millions of dollars so that you can throw a, a, a ball. And when you win, they just jumping up and down like little children and giggling and oh, so we won, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you win? What did you accomplish? The only thing you accomplished was make sure that the people you work for stay in power and bleed you and parasite off your talent. That's all. What kind of men are we? In the black conscious community, we always talking about, or they rather, I'm not part of your black conscious community. They always talking about the black man is a god, the black man is a warrior. Where? Where is this warrior spirit? The only thing they can do is throw a piece of plastic up and down a field. Where is this warrior? Where is this God? What did you conquer? These big, these big 300 pound men and they getting slapped around and getting told what to do by some skinny nerds. And you wonder why I am embarrassed by my gender. You're a warrior and you have conquered nothing. You have not conquered on the football field or in no point of endeavor in this nation. You have men like Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. They have money, have no power. You make no laws, you control no resources. And you screaming and hollering and acting like a little child over a football game. And you think that it's great because you can spin and talk about the, the, the statistics, the, the stats on a football game. You make no laws to control nothing. You control no resources. Act like children. You have to go to another man and wait for him to tell you as a man, another, you got to go to another man and you got to ask them what you can and cannot do. There's a brother who is suing the NFL for discrimination. Instead of creating your own football league. And the people who really want to see talent, who really want to see some real football, will come to you and you control it. And push them suckers to the side. But you would rather go to the man's brother who make the laws, the courts of your enemies, and beg. They discriminate against me. 
They won't let me pray. They, are, they, they won't put me in a position. They won't let me pray. I want to play. I want to be. It is embarrassing. For me, I don't know about you. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's truly embarrassing. You're men, but you're not man enough, or you don't want the responsibility for yourself. You are the talent, you are the product. And you have the resources, but you don't want to do it for yourself. But you want to be viewed as a man, but you don't act like a man. I don't expect us to control a whole lot in this nation. I, I don't. But if you are the primary talent of basketball and football, then you should control that. There's no reason why you, you shouldn't be controlling those things. If we are the talent behind rap music, why aren't we controlling that? It doesn't make any sense. We have to beg another man, ask another man for permission so we can get on a football field or make a rap record. Or As a man, you, maybe something wrong with me. I got a problem. Because no man is better than me. Greater than me. I have a problem going to another man. Especially another man. Who have lynched my ancestors. Who put their knee. In my neck. And asking them. Can I have. I have a problem. I have a problem with that. The majority of black men. In society have no problem. With begging another man. Clearly you don't. This is just how it is. But you want the respect of a man. I'm not doing that. And that's see that's that's the thing. I'm not gonna respect you as a man because you don't you don't act and behave like a full functioning man. But you want to be treated like one. Your children know they can't go to you for a damn thing. They know they're going to have to crawl to another man. And then they're going to find out that that man raped their grandmothers, raped their great grand aunts, continue to this, day, to this day, discriminate, and put you in jail for little or nothing. And all these evils they have done to us. And they, how can you be a man in your, in your children? Then your children know you don't produce nothing. You produce no milk. You produce no uh, meat. You, you, you don't produce your own food, clothing, and shelter. None of it. You don't have to control all of it. You don't, you don't, you're not. And your children look into you and you don't care that in reality, they are actually looking up to another man. And then you get upset. And I don't care if you black power. You have failed. You're not doing your job. Running your mouth. All this hooping and hollering. Black power. And, and all this big talk that you're doing. And your children still have to look up. To the devil. To the cave beast. And you wonder why. I opinion. The way that I do. My gender is really, really embarrassing to me because this here shouldn't be tolerated. Enjoy your Super Bowl, act like children, and y'all have a nice Super Bowl and all that crap. You do that.